Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my time at Sandrox. Today is day three, and we're going to see what is going to happen today. We need we got one we got one quest we're doing. We're building a crane builder. So nice to see you again. As per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Water, to be more specific, the most precious gift of all. In Sandrock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive. So we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, Don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly, or cut down the trees for that matter. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tank, so I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. See you at the water tower, new pal. Okay, let's, uh, let's talk to you, get our daily thing. Let me get this. Now, you see this right here? That means you gain something from there, or they want to tell you something. Hmm. Okay, we got two relationship points from there. There we go. Catch you later. Let's go talk to Mion. She's over. She, yeah, there she is. Okay. Hmm. We got two relationship points out of her this time. Oh, and we got something else. So hey, she was. How's it going on your end? My crane lift is almost done. Things have been easier since I built a furnace. Say, has Yid been bugging you like he's been bugging me? He came to check on my progress like ten times already. Okay, and now everything's clear. So. Let's see what kind of gift we can give her. Uh, let's give her oh, beef jerky. Okay, we got three relationship points out of there, so that's good. And we're done talking to her for the. No, we've already talked her to her for the day. Now, what do we? Uh, we need bricks. Oh, we got mail. Oh, we got a lot of mail. Okay. Uh, welcome builder, uh, Conjunction Junction, so we got to go see Heidi. And then we got another one. Uh, drop by the Blue Moon Saloon, and that's Owen, so we got to go see Owen. And what's this one? Okay, Par I guess this is the meeting of the Pyroside. No, and Heidi just typed it up and sent us a copy. Okay. So that's not too bad, but we got that little thing there. So this is your water tank. And this is very important. Press E to enter it. And tell, it tells you what pieces of equipment that are operating off the water tank. When we only have 3% water. So what we need to do... Take the water that Burgess gave us, which we have two, so we'll add all the water we got right now, confirm, and we only went up 10%, so we actually need to adjust that. So we need to go get, get some water. Now, let's see. In the workbench, as we scroll down, we can make water. Right now, we only got nine dew. It takes ten dew to make one jar of water. So, we're going to do that. We're going to go over here. This is a shortcut. That's a sign for the... Okay, it's just basically the sign. And we got to get that. Remember, we're going to collect items as we go, but this is the shortcut. And what I do... Oh, sorry, you can't jump into the water. So I'm going to pick up the trash that's around here. <coughs> that gives us some paper, which we can use later on. Uh, I 
some more trash here. Uh, got some old jeans. Remember, some of the stuff we can actually buy sell. So, got some trash there. There's Grandma Vivi. Got two relationship points out of her. Yeah, okay. And we're done talking with her. So let's come up here. Now, this is where Burgess's water world is. So, you can buy wood from him. You can buy straw from him, which is farming, which we'll do later on in this series. You can buy fertilizer, which is also part of farming in this series. You can also buy water. Right click. And first time, first every day you can buy five water and gives you 25 jugs of water. So five crates. So you got 25 water in total. So that's all we need right now. So let's go Let's go this way. We'll collect the trash that we find along the way. And we'll go back. We need to go to the commission guild. So we need to come up here. We've already talked to Yan. So. Oh. Let's, let's talk to Yan. Hey, uh, quick word. Do you think you're actually going to finish Rocky's commission? If it's not happening, I really need you to let me know. Because train ticket prices always go up the closer you get to your departure date. Hello. Hey, in other words, you're going to run away. Okay. I might not do it with the quest. Yeah, yeah, I might not do it. Let's uh, get our daily. Now we get different dailies. I want to get the most expensive that I can do right now. 518, we can't do bronze bars yet. So, 229, 205, 219. So, five, let's do that. I'd like to do the bronze bars, but we don't have the material to do it yet. Because we need 10. Okay, so we are going to need more stones. We got the dregs. Oh, we actually got the stones. So let's see if we can do this without doing anything right now. That's done at the workbench. So we can do that. That's good. So he goes over there, so we can turn that in. That's going to give us some more ghouls. Gold. I'm just going to call it gold instead of ghouls. Let's do our relationship. Okay. Okay. And then we'll just turn this in. We'll get eight reputation points. We'll get 229 goals. Get 262 in experience and 18 re reputation workshop points. So there we go. And now we collect our reward. We actually, yeah, we got 229. We got workshop points. And that's done for the day. So let's see what we need to actually build. So we need some plant material. We need copper. So I'll tell you what. Let's go over here to Rocky's workshop. Uh, Rocky's salvage yard, excuse me. And let's get all this stuff. Okay. 
Okay, let's get all this. Okay. Okay, we need to hire a tool for that, but let's just walk around and see what's available. I uh, can't fix it there, uh, but we found Lo Paradise Lost, and we need to build the elevator so people can go up and down the elevator and all that. There's anything over here. Let's kind of walk around this area because from time to time, different things will pop up. That, you, that has different material. Um, we're going to need plant material, so let's go ahead and get this. We learned yaks on one bush, I guess. We, we're going to need plant material, so we get plant material out of plants. We got driftwood here. Axe, we need a higher axe. Sand ice. Okay, we've learned sand ice. We're also going to need stone for bricks. How many ropes do we need? Need six, we got three, so yeah. Okay, we learned cat. Cat twisters. We got a little robot amp. Okay, we need plant fiber. Uh, let's, let's see if we got how many ropes can we make right now? Actually. ropes can we make now? Rope. Okay, so we don't need... I mean, what sticks can we make? We can make one more wood stick. So we need three more bricks. We need four more wood sticks. Oh, one more wood stick. We got the rope, so let's place that on. Bricks, wood sticks, copper sticks, and bear we need one more bearing. Okay, so actually let's see if we got the bricks now. Okay, we got the bricks. So that's good. Uh right, let's go over to this machine. We got some wood stick wood. We're gonna need copper. A mechanical first. So go ahead. Do maximum. Let's fill that up. So that's running. Come over here. We'll take the water that we just bought. And that fills up the machine. So we got the machine filled. We're going to take good, an eye out. Take it. Keep an eye on that. make one more wood stick. Is that all I need for this? So I just need copper sticks and one bearing. Okay, so we really don't need any more <coughs> excuse me, we really don't need any more thing, um, any more resources. So we, we are actually just going to Let's go around and gather. Hey, hey. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and gather some some material so that way we can go ahead and get things for a later quest. Now it takes sometimes it takes a day, sometimes it takes two days for some of the stuff to respawn. But we we're just gonna gather this stuff up. Try to use all my stamina before the end of the day. Okay, uh, let's just eat one of these. Oh, I ate two of them. Okay. Okay, we've got a new knowledge point. So let's go up here to knowledge, and that's in mechanical. So, yeah, knowledge, uh, get increase from furnace by 10%. Let's put one in there for right now. And we were maxed out. Um, we got resources. Let me see how much money we got on us now. 482 goals, gold. They call them ghouls. But there's something I want to go ahead and start doing now that we will need as we go along, and that's over here in the workshop books. It's got to find it. Now that's a bench. We got working desk. Slab, table, copper, marble. I'm gonna need a feather duster, but uh, right now what I'm looking for a switchboard bed. Wood storage. That's the one I'm looking for right now. We're going to buy that. We're going to need a feather duster, so we'll go ahead and buy that, too. Now we can make two different items. And both of them are available on the work station. Work table. Whatever it's called. So let's come over here. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's take a look at furniture. Wood case, wood storage. So I need ten wood sticks. I got five. So I need five more wood sticks to build it. Let's go to weapons. Now we we can make stone axe, stone picks, and we got bronze, which is the next one. But we need a whole bunch of stuff for that. We need some more. We need two more wood for the stone. But we do have a feather duster. We need one more wood. And we need thin, thin red and feathers. And we can also make that. For weapons. Um, bone troughs. Water. We could make one. So we get one more water. Um, we haven't learned how to make um bronze bars yet but we need thin some thin threads uh how many i forgot how many we need for the feather duster we need two so let's do thin threads let's do two so we got that so we got that for right now We get the feathers from fighting roosters, and we get the wood from that and all that. So, actually. Oh, we need to go see Chi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to go see Chi because we got some more data disks. 
So it takes two day. We got two data discs out of that pile. So let's see if he can research us any more items. And we'll talk to him for today. You want to save your data disc so you can get the um get you to be able to up get you more equipment or better equipment. She has there he is. Let's talk to him. Okay, we got two relationship points out of there. And we need three. We only have two data disks. You have anything here that we can research? No. Nope. So we need more data disks. So we'll get that in the next episode. Let's take the shortcut down through here. So we need wood. Wood sticks. Right now to get get a couple of, and some stone and and get some items get some items that we can actually use. Um so what I'm gonna do is sit down, gather some stanima, and just kind of wait for the copper scraps to be done, so I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay, guys and gals, we got about 40 stanima. We just need to gather some wood. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Uh, we should have enough cup six now. Nope, we need three more. So we're processing that. Uh, we're just going to use our axe. We need wood. So we're just going to uh, chop these bushes up. Yeah. I'm not worrying. We got some extra stone, but we need some wood. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me just eat one of those. Okay. We also need to go see Owen and Heidi today. So let's go, let's go to Owens first. And one of the things about these cutscenes, it stops the game time. So Owens should be here in the blue moon. There he is. Oh, he has a quest for us too. Um, you can come here. He has items that he you can buy. You can buy some food that gives you some extra stamina and stuff like that. But it's kind of pricey. So let's talk to Owen. Hey there, builder. Did you get my letter? Why don't we have a chat over some food and drinks? It, it won't take too long. Sure, free food anytime. I've been meaning to catch up with you since you moved in, but I guess you and me, Anne, have been busy with all that's been going on of late. <laughs> As a small token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you some food and drinks on the house. To a newcomer, Sand Rock can be a bit overwhelming. But lucky for you, this old barkeep has been around for just a hair longer than a pan bat's age. Uh, perhaps I can shed some light on any subjects you're still unfamiliar with. What would you like to know about? Ah, the civil core here are that thin, dusty line that stands between us and the many threats crawling throughout the Ufala Desert. But they only have two core members here, uh, plus <laughs> a cat. I'm amazed that they're able to keep up with all the security demand. Of course, Pen from the church helps out as well. Now the one running the civil corps is a man named Justice. He and I go way back. He's one of the toughest guys around Sandrock these days. But back when we were kids, he was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> Oh boy, how times do change. He's a great guy. And his partner, Unsure, is also very reliable. If you ever run into trouble, you can surely count on them to help you out. What would you like to know about? Okay. The Church of Light is all about preserving the sense of community and getting rid of dangerous Age of Corruption technology. 
But the interesting thing about our chapter is that Matilda is extremely lenient when it comes to relics and old tech. In Sandrock, we're allowed to hold on to some pretty mean stuff. Sometimes they'll even let relic weapons slide. And it's a good thing, too. Life would be much harder out here if we didn't have the means to defend ourselves. Our chapter is pretty unique in that way. Although I heard some chapters near the peripheries take similar stances. The church members are always proactive about helping people in and around Sandrock, especially the old folk and the youngins. They've gotten so organized that, as a matter of fact, they actually help handle a lot of administrative type stuff in town. Uh, we'd be up a creek without them. Uh, well, <laughs> creeks have water, don't they? What would you like to know about? Let's see, where to begin? We're a small town, so pretty much everybody knows everybody else. There's Vivi the tailor, Heidi the architect and engineer, Cooper, Mabel, and Elsie down at the ranch, Katori and her game center, Dr. Fang and his bird. There's also Arvio and Amira, the sibling duo from Barnarok who moved here not that long ago. Arvio is young but he runs the general store pretty nicely, all things considered. Amira makes ceramics that are top-notch. I think she's even starting to gain some recognition from people outside of Sandrock. You can definitely tell Amira is the older sister. She's always the one covering for her brother whenever his youth gets the better of him. But what's also amazing is that she never lets her skills get to her head. She's very down-to-earth and she... Sorry, maybe I'm talking too much. <laughs> I think he might have a crush on her. Really, this town is full of nice people. If there's someone you want to get to know better, ask them to hang out. Make time out of your day to go see them. <laughs> and hey, who doesn't like a nice gift now and again? I'm sure you'll have plenty of friends in no time. What would you like to know about? Ah, yes. There is an infamous bandit around here named Logan. He used to be a citizen of our town as well. One day he just went crazy and blew up a building. I guess being out here in the desert makes some people lose their minds. Other than that, you have to watch out for some dangerous animals roaming the wilds. <laughs> like the Geeglers. They're mutated lizards who seem bent on causing us trouble for some reason. Oh, and how could I forget? <laughs> the sandstorms. Our mayor is out in the desert right now, trying to stop the winds from blowing sand over what little greenery we have left. You know, it wasn't always like this. A lot of people have left, and I can't really blame them. Sand Rock might not be the best place for everybody, but there are still people who love this town. And we'll all be sticking around, for better or for worse. What would you like to know about? Okay, I think that's it for now. <laughs> yep. Uh, don't let me talk your ear off. Some things you've just got to experience to understand. Don't worry too much. You'll fit right in. Hey, I've been doing all this talking, and I haven't had a bite to eat yet. Uh, maybe you should share your tales as well. Let me talk. Evidently, Owen knows everything. Was nice. We got to do this more often. In any case, let me hit you with a couple takeaway dishes for later. <laughs> Builders can't go hungry, you know? Evidently, Owen's the one who knows everything around the town. Stop in at the Blue Moon anytime you're out of energy and need a picker-upper. Don't know what to order? Get the special of the day. That's right, we've got a discount on something new every day. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into an ad spot for the saloon. I'm sure you're busy learning the ropes around here. I'd better get back to it, too. I hope to see you again soon. Okay. We got some food out of it, and we got some... Let's go see if Cooper wants to talk to us. Good. You've returned, so I might yell at you some more. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Now. Where you get off going around asking for handouts when good, honest, hard-working people like yours truly are out in the fields, breaking their backs, sweating their behinds off? 
What are you talking about? And I'm not retiring. That was... Um, the other guy. I'm the new builder. Yeah. I think Cooper's crazy. Let's talk to Koroi. Hello! Huh? Everybody's talking about Matilda's. Okay. See ya. Get that done for the day. Uh, we talked to you, Howdy. haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, we have. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. And we haven't talked to Owen today, so we need our relationship uh -huh. points. Okay. All right. All and right, there we go. Let's see. What's in here? Oh, treasure chest. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay. So, we got that done. Man, who was that? Oh, that was... Okay, now we got to go see Heidi. Uh... I think she's up here. I don't know what time she leaves... What time she leaves the store. This is... Conjunction Junction. Hey there. Reckon you got my letter? How's Mason's old shack treating you? If it's not quite what you were expecting, might be a high time to start upgrading. If you've got the goals and the materials, I can set you up with a new building for your workshop or upgrade something you've already got. Just take a look at that catalog over there on my desk to see what we're working with. Oh, also, I've always got plenty of materials stored around here. If you ever want to trade some of yours for mine, just check out the Construction Junction shop. That's the gist of it. Here's to a happier home. Hey there. Do our daily talk hmm. with her. And I definitely want to build a relationship with her. Let's see, we got a gift that she might like. Uh, what we got? Oh, let's give her a stone. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got two relationship points out of that. That's not too bad. And we're done with the day. This is the book. Um, right now we really can't do much. Um, but I want to see if I can. Why is this one? Seven. Oh, they changed it. Ah, right, there we go. Okay. Q to rotate it. What I want to do is put that this way. So as we expand, that's going to be there. So that's not too bad. Confirm, and we're done. So, getting late. Let's go ahead and go out door with Heidi. And let's go back to our shop. See if we can make a spear. Oh, let's talk to Jenkins. We haven't talked Hello. to him today. I see ya. That's bam bam. Hello. So long, partner. We're friends with everybody we meet. Uh, we've already, he, he's nobody, so we really don't have to make friends with him. Let's go over here to here. 
going to weapons, we're going to spear, stone, so I need two wood sticks. I need this wood sticks for something. Let's see. Copper six, bearings. Copper six and bearings, that's all we need left. Okay. So, going to weapons. Going to, uh, let's see. Oh, there. Oh, we can make one of those. Let's let's do the bronze. Let's do the sword and shield. Cause I used to play a pally in World of Warcraft, and I had a shield and a sword. So let's just do that. And we made it outstanding once, and now we have a weapon. Can we, we just need feathers, and we'll have. Which now we can go get feathers. Uh, let's go to the bag. We're gonna put that in slot number three. And how many goals we got? Let's buy ten more slots. So now we got a second page. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So we can hold more stuff. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and bell. That way you know when the latest videos I do come along and when I go live here on YouTube. Also do me a favor, hit that like button. If you like I get, gets this channel seen a little bit more. It also gets this video seen a little bit more. And that will help grow this channel and I would really appreciate that. And as always, have fun playing your games. Be safe out there in the world, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.